Forza? Forza? Forza. I think it's Forza Horizon, the fifth one. Hi, I'm Dan. Uh, look, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm a car guy. Never have been. Uh, don't know Don't know a damn thing about cars. Uh, I have one. It, it goes where I want it to go, but that's about the extent of my knowledge. That said, I'm certainly one who can enjoy a good car game, and I have found in the past that the Forza Horizon games have been good car games. Now, the motorsport games, they're a little too, uh, you know, tinkery-dinkery with the, the car stuff. That uh, it loses me. I, I, I don't follow the car stuff. Horizon, though... Is a nice, it's a nice arcade-like, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a cruising guy. I'm a San Francisco Rush guy. I like the old, uh, you know, the, the, the razzle-dazzle, the boosts and the ramps and all that stuff. This doesn't quite have uh, boosts and all that stuff, but it's definitely more arcadey than its motorsport cousin. So, why don't I play some of this game? As of this recording, it is not out yet, so I've not been able to test out, like, multiplayer, things like that. But it's kind of a laid-back game. It's great for just kind of cruising around and uh, and just picking up various events and things like that. So I don't have a, a plan. I don't have a criteria for this going forward. I'm just going to hop in and play the way uh, I normally would play, and uh, perhaps you'll join me for the ride. So, without further ado, let's go over to the Forza. All right. As you can see here, this is the title screen for the game. I have three options from here. I'm going to hit the Continue option. <clears throat> Having a lot of fun with this. This is a good laid-back game, uh, you know, fast-paced race and action and all that stuff, but you just kind of cruise around and do things however you want. It seems like there's no real wrong way to play this game. Like, you'll go into these uh, events and everything, and I'm used to, like, like I'm playing a lot of Cruise and Blast. It's a great game. But it's like, all right, you better get, you got to get a gold medal in this to unlock the next series of, of races. This one, you could do a thing, and then there's, like, you could get 10th out of 12, and level up a, a bit and, and earn a wheel spin and a car and all this stuff. Like you feel like you're always progressing and doing things in this game, which I enjoy. I will say it is busy. It is busy with stuff. Uh, they have been in the past. As you can see here, there's these seasons. And OK, so let me just I feel like I should just race around a little bit before I, I get bogged down with all Welcome this stuff here, because there's there's a lot. By the way, I've got streamer mode on, so you are not hearing the copyrighted uh, music, so this is not the standard soundtrack for the game. That's my house right there. It's a nice little house. I think, is this my Porsche? This looks like a Toyota. I'll show you the Porsche that I've been enjoying quite a bit. I have not typically been a fan of this uh, menu system for at least the last Forza, definitely, or Forza Horizon definitely had it like this. It feels almost too much like that that kind of Metro Windows 8 thing they were trying to do with Windows that I was never uh, too fond of. Where's my Porsche? Porsche? It's blue. I know that much. Uh, where are we at here? You can see these are the cars I have acquired. There it is. Taycan Turbo S from the Welcome Pack. I got the uh, the premium thingy, so I got some uh, cars uh, at the beginning here. Yes, I would like that delivered to me. Got my Casa Bella. This one, uh, see some of the super duper cars you know, once you go off-road, and I like to go off-road, uh, they just can't control worth, worth the shit. But this uh, this Porsche, as you can see, just grips the road like a glove as I slide all over the place. Let's figure out where we want to go. So this is typically how I start every uh, every session of Horizon 5, is I just take a look at this. I kind of look at stuff I haven't done. It looks like I've done a lot of the stuff around here. What's that? That's a uh, danger sign. Okay, I think these are typically like ramps and stuff like that, which I'm a ramp guy. I love ramps. Can't get enough. Let's just go there. Boy, maybe this is not the best for off-road. I do have off-road like buggies and cars and Ford Broncos and stuff like that. But uh, boy, this is a this handles real well on the roads. I also like a McLaren. McLaren's good stuff. Look at that. Check that out. Photo mode. One button. Always a fan of that. Get some balloons in the background. Look at that. An errant twig. Look at that. Take myself a little photo. Ah, if I took it outside the Casabella house, I would I would get a new link phrase. That's the thing. There's a billion things uh, to unlock and level up and things like that. It can be a little overwhelming, but ultimately it's fine to me because like it's very easy to just drive to a thing, do a thing, and repeat and have fun. So I may not understand every single system. Like, okay, so my personal car level, what do I get when I level up versus my accolade level versus uh, this Horizon Adventure thing? Okay, so we're gonna ramp up this. Let's get into, we're gonna get into a, a crazy car here for that. And cause we just, we'll try to go straight here. Let's see if a McLaren can do this, this jump. Because the, the McLaren seems pretty fast. Actually that, that is an S2998. Uh, what are we on speed? 7.6, what's the highest ranking on speed we got? Where's the McLaren? There it is. 
That's an eight on speed. Do I have anything above an eight? Could probably filter it if I wanted to. Eight seems like a lot of speed. Ooh, a Lamborghini. That's apparently fast. Okay. Do I have to buy that? Oh, no, I can just get in that. Okay, great. Yes, deliver that to me, please. Like I said, not an expert in cars. Not even an expert in the series, really. I, uh, I was first introduced to it, I believe, with Horizon 3. We did a quick look at Giant Bomb. And we're watching uh, Jeff cruise around and thinking, this seems like my kind of fun, uh, fun racing game. And so I played a lot of Forza Horizon 3, a lot of Forza Horizon 4, and now this. Okay, this, this can go fast in a straight line. We can do this. All right. I'm playing, like, 19 racing games at the same time right now, so it's a constant, like, oh, what's the handbrake on this one? Is it A? Is it B? Okay. Now I feel like I've lost the plot. Where are we? We need to go left a little bit here. On top of that hill, right? Yeah. Okay. Am I lined up? Let's see. Let's wing it. There's a rewind button. Here we go. Oh, I got a skill point. So here's the thing, too. Each car has a mastery level, too. But the mastery level thing is shared. So I've got three available points, so I can spend this to get an instant 50,000 credit, which is another currency. Well, that's the more traditional, like, money currency. Uh, but then, like, if I switch to another car, that would be a different mastery thing. And uh, But it's a pooled available points. It's a lot, a lot of meters going up, a lot of levels going up in this game. But again, you don't have to focus too much on it. You can just do dumb shit and try to ramp your car off uh, the hills. You get a smack disc bonus. Okay, I think I'm lined up perfectly. Let me see. Yeah, that looks like a trodden path. Get some likes. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, lined up, lined up. Look at that! Danger sign! Hell yeah! 867 feet, my personal best. All right. Sometimes it'll show you uh, people that are also playing and compare your score to them. There's a three-star. Oh, giant bomb right there. Look at that. Almost doubled you, Gersman. Look at that. There's a mini-map behind my head. You know what mini-maps look like. You get it. Here's the big map. Uh, so I could go here. So these Super 7 ones are, like, community-made. Uh, so I haven't done a lot of those because the game's not out yet. So all the, like, liveries and stuff like that, I don't have that. It's here, uh, as you can see in the creative hub. You can go here, and it's got a handful of ones that, like, I assume the developers or whatever made. There's, there's some pretty sharp ones here. Let's, uh, let's get one. Let's get a nice citrus car. Yeah, let's get a citrus car from an amateur painter. No, I don't want to travel. Eh, never mind that. You get it. Uh, it, it would be green instead of black. Uh, I was going to show something else. Am I going right back to uh, world map? Okay. So, yes, those are... All oh, right, I'm showing this off. Community made challenges and stuff like that. Again... Uh, I'm sure this will fill out over time, but uh, I played a couple of them and they didn't blow me away uh, Because again the game's not out yet. So uh, it would be kind of hard to to show that off. All right, let's go here So you can view accolades Shit. <laughs> There you go uh, So here's another thing there are a billion different categories of accolades Which is like okay, here's the starter pack stuff and there are different like rewards for this, like, okay, if I win this cross-country, I get 250 more accolade points. But then there's stuff where it's like, okay, if I do this one, if I photograph the Jade statue... Okay, wait, that's not even... Okay, expeditions. See, there's all these different expeditions. They're like these kind of, like, scavenger hunt type things. But then a lot of these will have straight-up rewards. Like this one, I'll get a blue classic race helmet and a 1,000 accolade, accolade points if I complete all the road races. So it's just, there is a lot. I've played, I'd say, several hours of this game now. But I do still kind of constantly find myself like, whoa, whoa, wait, what's this? What's that? Okay. Uh, that's enough showing you menus right now. Let's drive to a damn event. As the crow flies. Where, where are we looking at? There we go. That's how I tend to drive around uh, here in Connecticut as well. Just, you know, just point your GPS at a cardinal direction and go to town. Uh, most trees, the smaller ones, will not bog you down at all. Uh, some of them will give you to a, uh, cause you to make a full halt. Like this, okay, can go through that. I feel like it's the right balance. Like, when I hit a tree and I come to a full stop, I feel like, oh, okay, that tree was too big, I shouldn't have driven directly into it. Also, I'm going off-road, so this must be, uh, expected, you know? So right there, I got an accolade. Got that. For the Horizon Wilds outpost. There's different outposts that you unlock, which have different types of events and things like that on the world map. And again, not claiming to be an expert on the series. I don't remember which of these things are brand new and which are not. Let me spend my wheel spin. Oh, wait, no, it went away. Uh, 
But I, I feel like the adventure stuff, or we'll see if we can get to one of those on this, uh, this video here. Um, but it's like, drive to this airport and then find a guy's hat and then find his jacket and then find this thing. There's barn finds again. You got barn rumors. You can get cars there. Let's just do an old fashioned race in this racing game. What do you think? Let's do it. I'm talking like I'm talking to a Twitch chat, but this is a, uh, this is a bot. No one's watching me right now. And, uh, and you can't comment on the YouTube thing, so I'm just talking to no one. Let's do it. Now, I tend to always just pick a recommended thing. And like, I like this system because like, A, I don't know what kind of car is good for what. So if I just had to pick from all my cars, I wouldn't know what the hell I'm picking. So this is also a good way to try out all the different cars I have. So I do like that it gives you this recommended thing at the beginning. Uh, S1, well, the old Porsche, like I said. You know what, let's try a Corvette Stingray just to mix it up. It's probably a good car too, I don't know. What does it cost, 40, 40K, 45? Oh, that's me. Uh, my character is John Lennon. If he became a billionaire in 2021 and wanted to go to space. So Sierra Verde Sprint. Oh, uh, by the way, Mexico. That's where we are in this one. We are uh, in Mexico and uh, that, that's the map. Also, I'm playing this on PC with a 3080 in case you're wondering. Increase the challenge. Raise the difficulty from average to above average. No, I'm good for now. I'm not looking to test my racing metal tour. Right? I'm fine with going into the default, the average, and uh, seeing where that takes me, and I feel like I'm getting enough first, I'm getting enough seconds, and I'm getting a handful of tens, you know? So, uh, that, that's good for me. A little drive guitar systems back here. I like the races where in the top left here you see progress. I prefer that to the laps type of races. So I think it gives you a very clear idea of how much time you got left. You gotta hit those checkpoints. Try not to be too egregious with the, uh, the old rewind feature. But sometimes you must. It's a very nighttime race here. Six out of 12, 22%, plenty of time to take the lead. Now the goal in this racing game is you want to uh, cross the finish line typically faster than the other competitors. That's the thing, I've done a million quick looks and stuff and videos of racing games and it's like, well, I mean, I don't really have to explain what racing is, so I guess I'll just show all the things that uh, the game is doing with the format and, and genre and things like that, but like, when you're actually racing, not a whole lot to say. There's that blue line thing there that tells you when to brake. That's been around for a while, you get that. I don't have to explain that. Drive guitars, you get that. Looking good. I tend to go pretty hard into turns with the hope of overtaking folks. Find you can just kind of brush past the checkpoint markers and you're typically okay. Getting the skill chains and stuff like that. Those are giving me skill points for the car, the mastery that I can spend on this car or other cars. A lot of the skills I found are tied to multiplayer, which again I have not uh, messed around with yet and I don't do a ton of typically. I might, uh, I might try some once this is live in the hands of folks. I know it's got a thing where it's like if you bought the Super Duper Edition, you can get access early, so I'm sure uh, once this game is out in the first few days, I'm sure it will be stiff competition. But then once your uh, average Dick and Nancy on the street get the game, uh, maybe I'll stand a chance. Uh, Skybox. I really like the line. I don't know if people, like, if hardcore players turn that off. I'm sure there's an option to do that. Not me. I love that. I see red, I hit the brakes. I see blue, pedal to the metal. Let's, let's do the thing. You got your uh, your views and all that, you know. Again, you've played a racing game since the uh, PlayStation 1. Number one. So if somebody's on the fence for a game like this, I think the question is like, you know, cause everyone always says like, oh, what does this do differently? What's the, uh, is this just another one of those or whatever? It's got these different things around the edges and obviously the different maps. And like, we'll see if we can get to like an adventure mode or something like that. But this straight up feels like when I played Horizon 3 and 4, which to me, 
This is straight up comfort food, and this is absolutely uh, hey Dad, delivering. Oh, here we go. I have blueprints for a bunch of new adventures, and you have decisions to make. Ah, okay. So they really want me to do the next adventure thing. So as you can see, PR stunts, street racing, cross country racing, dirt racing, road racing, main stage. These all do different things. So started this one, secure the blessing of El Campeon. I have not done this one yet. This is road racing. Let's see a dirt racing one. So I track down a big cat in the Mexican jungle. Let's follow in the footsteps of an intrepid explorer and see what this is. Well, actually that doesn't sound too wild. Explore an active volcano. That's what we're talking about. That's wild. Let's go to a damn volcano. You know, all about volcanoes now. Uh, you can fast travel places. I typically don't do a lot of that. It also costs money a lot of time. Let's, uh, let's switch cars here. Let's go. To, so I can do a filter here and I can say, let's go Super Saloon. Retro Hot Hatch. I don't know what any of this stuff means. Rally Monsters, Modern Rally, Off Road, and Buggies. That sounds like a good selection. All these could probably handle their own, right? That looks pretty good. Let's do that. Why would I not have the car delivered to me? Let's see if we got any uh, livery options here. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to like... That was weird. It seemed like it wanted to send me home to change the livery out. Let's just test that again. Let's get the Nintendo Switch one. No, just... Well, you know what? I got a long way to go anyway. Maybe that'll actually make me go closer. Yeah, all right. This game, not on Nintendo Switch. Hey, amigo. I think we should show Horizon why the Baja is home to the biggest off-road race on Earth. And if we have time, Beautiful. we might set up an outpost or something. I am playing on the Xbox version on a Windows computer, courtesy of Microsoft sending me the code. Uh, and now I'm going to race my Nintendo car. Let's do it. So I should be at the Central Horizon Festival now. Yeah. Let's go. So I like when the liveries open up and I can do stuff like uh, yeah, you get a Domino's pizza car or an NWO car or something like that. That's, uh, I remember doing that a lot in the last one. Oh, man, there's a barn find up there. Barn find. We'll do that after this. Let's go to the volcano and then we'll do a barn find. What the hell kind of car is that? Oh, that's a live player. Oh, these are several live players. What's happening here? That's the first I've seen this. Uh, yeah, like I said, this game is not out yet. Hi, this is interesting. Hi, they're talking to me. Can I talk to them? Oh, God. Is PvP on? Mule truck and death training. Okay, well, I'm going to go to my volcano. I don't know what that was all about. Sure. It does look like there's some stuff on the map. I wonder if it's, they're timed or if... Uh, like here, the Eliminator Battle Royale? That makes me interested. If that is a full-on Battle Royale type thing. Well, let's look at the accolades. Oh, nope. Stupid uh, start and select. Or not start and select anymore. It's hamburger and whatever, and I always forget. Uh, so... Well, that doesn't take me to a Battle Royale one. So I am curious as to what the Battle Royale stuff is. Does it say anything about, like, be the last survivor? Pinata pop rounds in a Horizon Arcade event. I don't know. It says Battle Royale right there. That means a particular thing in games. I don't know what that means here, but I've always wanted to do a vehicular Battle Royale type thing. I will find out when the game comes out. Talk. Hello! talk about this on the fire escape cast and keep you updated on my horizon adventures uh you can't see the mini map but it'll tell you uh where like xp signs and stuff like that are so there's one coming up here i do like driving through the banners let's see where are we at here there it is i see it Got eyes on it is that a fast travel board that is a fast travel board so now i can go here can I not fast travel to it? Okay. Like I said, I have not fast traveled. Uh, I went to go show that as an example, and I'm confused. All right. I have to discover more 
Bruce and Ben Hansen. Skill point, what we got here? Sure, give me 6,000 XP for owning this car. I'll take that. Okay, let's do a Baja Expedition. So yeah, most of these you see in the, there's the Horizon Adventure Mode, which is this different wacky pamphlet map thing, okay? And then you got your festival playlist, which is all these seasons, which each one of these has all these different championships and things like that. Like, see, I did that new kid on the block championship and I won that car. Uh, it's kind of just messy, I think. I really don't like this layout and how this is all structured. I find it fairly confusing, uh, frankly. And I don't really engage with it too much because I'm just driving to icons on the map and uh, playing them. Although it can get confusing sometimes because like one time I did an event that was apparently the first in a championship series and I got, you know, my place or whatever in it. And it was, the championship was like a Grand Prix where you have to get points and, you know, do three or four races or whatever. And so when I went to go start some other event, it was like, this is going to cancel the championship you're in. And I was like, well, wait, I don't know what championship I'm in. And uh, so I, I, it's just not spelled out extremely well. Ooh, look at this cool thing. Like that. Again, though, I can't stress enough, despite that being a pet peeve of mine, it is not getting in the way of my enjoyment of this game at all. Oh, this is fast. Oh, this feels real good. I like this car. All right, that's fine. Okay, so these typically, yeah, like you'll have a guy in the car with you or whatever, and they'll say, oh, go to this thing. And then, like, storms happen. You gotta, you know, race through a storm, or you gotta, you know, explore the, the airstrip or something like that. So we'll see. Well, we already know the gimmick here is a... Uh, Okay, no. Let's see what it has me do up there. Yeah, so I just leveled up to 18, like, myself. I, okay, so I got a wheel spin. Which, again, you've seen wheel spins, you've seen slot machines. There's a lot of, like, okay, is that in campaign? Is that in... But it's here. Ah, okay. I have to be in Horizon Life or Horizon Solo to do a wheel spin. Again, this type of stuff I'm talking about with just structuring the different modes and stuff biggest weakness to the game. Racing, top-notch. Open world, top-notch. Variety of events, uh, you know, custom stuff that players can make and share. A lot of, a lot of just top-notch stuff. Yeah. Real nice draw distance I found. I've got pretty much everything cranked up to ultra, I believe. Just remember, we have an outpost I think there might be some, like, reflection set to high or something, but it's, uh... I think it's almost, without exception, set to ultra. It's hot! When you reach the top, we should do our tests and then get out of here, my friend. The Baca is waiting and... Alright. I think the volcano is getting angrier. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because remember, Horizon 4 had some of those races where it's like, oh, you're following this huge cargo plane, or it's, you know, a little more razzle-dazzle than your typical street race. That's these. I gotta take on the Fury from Snake Eater? Heard for that, I'm just a car. Looks like you're attracting the local news. You're on TV. It looks safe, but there's vapor everywhere. This expedition you know vapor? looks to be heading straight to the active crater of the volcano. Okay, I don't know what the end game is. Once we get up here, well, you're safe from thunderstorms when you're inside a car, but I think a volcano. I think you can still get fucked up. kind of a fun way to do like a solo thing uh, versus like just a traditional time trial. Like I like how they make it kind of a weird adventure thing. Again, ver variety is a place that this game really shines at. Right. I feel like it would be hot even by now if we're this close to the top of a volcano. But I think active volcano and like actively spewing lava out the top is probably a different thing. I don't know if the latter just happens in cartoons or not, because that's the way I've seen it. 
Okay, so here we go. So now this is what it's been like when it's like, oh, find the guy's hat or whatever. So, okay, I gotta put on the Volcanoologist Thermal Suit. So, it's actually pretty easy. Um, again, the, uh, the uh, mini-map is behind my head right now. But here, let me show you. Let me show you what it looks like. Ready? See that? It shows you those stars on the mini-map there. So, it's pretty easy to see where these are. It's not like a full-on Where's Waldo situation. Can I go across this? Probably gonna burn my tires. Oh, wait, I got a thing. I collected a sample. Must have had the special equipment attached to my car. Uh, I'm gonna change into the thermal suit. This is like when you go to the uh, Goron area in Breath of the Wild. You need this so, you know, you can withstand the heat. Still kind of space suity. Uh, find a location for the seismometer and smash five steam vents to release geothermal energy. Got it. I'm on top of it. Boom. That's, that's one, right? Yep, okay. Let's see... Location for this. So it's not always there, the uh, the thing on the mini-map. You kind of got to drive around, and once you get in the vicinity, it'll kind of tell you. So, like, I'm not seeing it right now. I'm still just kind of driving around. Hitting signs. There we go. Vents or by the way, uh, I'm looking over at my preview monitor and I don't know if it is looking like it's running 60 over there, but uh, I know on a, my 3080, looking at the screen here, I'm running that 4K uh, 60 frames a second. So I don't know if that's going to come through on the recording or not, but if it's looking less than 60, just know uh, I have seen no performance issues whatsoever with this on a 3080. I've got three of them. That looks like four. Where is the last one? And the location for the seismometer. Okay, there's the last one. Probably not how the geologists do it, but hey, science is problem solving. Hmm. Continue. Okay, so you don't have to get all of them. And maybe I won't here. I'm not seeing it pop up. I don't know what you need for a seismometer. Is it over here, maybe? Is it part of the zone? Oh shit, here we go. Track earthquakes. Earthquakes are tied to Vulcan. Look, I don't, I don't know how this stuff works. Okay. As an earthquake hits this volcano, a little HP printer there will detect it. See, Haley? Which place the seismometer? Oh, right. Now you gotta go meet a dude. Should be heading down soon. Typically in these. Oh, is there more than five? Okay, looks like there's a bunch of these things I could have hit. Extra credit? And. Ooh, dune buggies. Okay. Yeah, sometimes there's a. Uh, Costume changes. I I show you an active volcano up close. Well, we saw the now, costume change. Now it's a car I change. Think the show's over. <laughs> yep, that's enough playing with fire for one day. I wonder if I actually have to. You know what? I'm going to do a little change here. We're going to see if that uh, changes up the. Uh... Again, settings is in campaign. Not my favorite set up here. Okay, let's see if this freaks everything out. Okay, we're gonna do this. Ready? Is this gonna freak everything out? Ooh, smooth, smooth change. Let's see. Oh, I can't tell. That was a big one. I think the you, the viewer, will know. It still looks kind of funky over there. Eh, it's probably the preview monitor. And if not, we'll all live. If it looks the same to me in the preview monitor, I'm going back to 4K. How about that? And save that. Yes, please. There we go. Just four more Ks. I don't... There's no checkpoints here, so I think I can pretty much just go straight down there. 
don't know if that's actually faster. It's probably not safer. And it's probably not saving me time, so good choices all around. Let me tell you something, when you get a house, you start getting phone calls all the damn time trying to get you to get solar panels on your house. Pain in the ass. You tell them, I don't want solar panels. Or maybe I do, but I need to do some more research, and we got lots of other stuff going on right now. And they say, oh, I just need 30 seconds. And I was like, look, I know I can save money on energy. It's probably a good idea. I just haven't had the damn time to look into it yet. So uh, let's get off this phone call. I got I to gotta play a Forza Horizon. racing my friend vamos i know an old baja circuit that would be perfect oh came all the way from the top of that nice i didn't plan on not censoring a race already but here goes nothing that's the thing i think even if i lost it probably wouldn't make me do this again oh look at that shit hell yeah I'm probably going to lose here maybe not yeah, shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. More than that. Even more. So it's going to want me... Oh, is it not even going to be possible because it wants me to loop around a thing? Yep, okay. Well, let's play within their damn rules here. Oh, is it going to be holding another part of a race here? Oh, shit, okay. Oh, it's really cutting off a lot of it. Maybe I will win. What do you think of that? There's a boost. Go, 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 go. Damn it. Nah, there's nothing more I can do. Unless I take this turner very aggressively. Take this turner? Look at that. Eat shit. Yeah. Presentation of this game. Menus aside. But all the, the razzle-dazzle and the camera cuts and the slow-mo and stuff. It knows what it's doing. It's doing great with that. Standing shoulder to shoulder with the Baja 500. I don't like sand. It gets everywhere. Accolade. Always money in the Baja stand. Okay. All right. I think I'm getting the good sense of the the TV and movie taste of the uh, of, of uh, the fella right in the descriptions. <laughs> you know how to make an entry. Welcome to Horizon Baja. Think of the place. This will be the destination for cross country racing. You in? Okay, so this is the cross country area. Got it, got Here's it. a new cross country event program to start. So I will see you out there. I've not done the Horizon Arcade yet. I believe that is, yeah, it's collaborative mini games available to play 24 7. And it, it seems like it's almost like a destiny thing where it's like, oh, this, this event is about to start here. People kind of gather around there. So again, once it's, uh, the game is out live. I am curious to try out some of the multiplayer stuff. Uh, let's check out another thing or so here before we call it. Test Driver Horizon Baja. Okay. Let's let's do a barn find. Got to do a barn find, right? Okay. 25 miles. Let's see if we can figure out the fast travel situation here. So, purchase treasure map is an option. I'm looking at the bottom left. I'm, there's nothing behind my head that is saying fast travel. Hmm, I know you can you can fast travel to houses. I know you can do that. You know what, let's just... That's a whole windy mountain road. Let's just do a race. Hey, Dad. We'll switch cars out. I didn't enter my name as Dan, so it definitely had some, like previous forts a thing going on or it knew my name that's uh let's look at this uh wacky guy here let's do this i don't know if you can drive that on the highway i don't know if that's legal even if you get the turn signals and all that it's like pulling left that would have been more uh, appropriate if it was the joy con car huh <laughs> Turn 
That's pretty nice. John Lennon there. Yep. Is John Lennon a car guy? He had so much money, but I don't really know what he spent it on. I know he had, like, fancy places in New York City, but uh, I've never heard him talk about cars, I don't think. I will play solo against Drivatars. Uh, my wacky car is not recommended. Let's try Lancer Evolution. I think I remember this being a good car in either Gran Turismo 3, A-Spec, or maybe Rage Racer on the PlayStation 1. Though I don't know if Rage Racer was licensed cars. Gran Turismo definitely was. I remember in one of them, the Lancer Evolution being a real good car. I almost said top-notch car, but then I remembered. I think I've said top-notch too many times in this video. Okay, we got another percentage one. I like the drive guitar thing, even if, like, I think, like, two of the people on my friends list, I think Ben Hansen and Gersman, are playing the game right now, so the rest is going off of no data whatsoever. It's still just kind of fun to see... Like, ah, that's my buddy John, I just beat him, or ah, oh, my buddy Dan just beat me, you know, like, I don't know, it's better than just, like, a faceless car. I guess all cars are faceless, unless it's, I haven't seen the Cars movies, but I think they have faces, they definitely have eyes in the Cars movies. Um, but you understand. There's Hanson. All right, motherfucker. That's based on real-life Ben Hanson DNA right there. The real deal drive atar. Genuine article. I do like the uh, the Mexico setting a lot. It has a lot a lot of variety. For instance, even like that volcano area there. Like I've seen a bunch of like hills and like mountain type areas, but none like that. Uh, there's, like, big stretches of desert and things like that. There's almost kind of more, like, you know, really, uh, foresty or jungly or, you know, trees. Lots of trees, you know. It's, uh, got some good variety there. Good beachside stuff. Playas. Oh, yeah, he's way back there. We're good. Uh, maybe I will over time bump the difficulty up. I feel like this has not been particularly difficult lately. I do want to be challenged. I don't want to be, like, coming in last every time and doing the same races over and over again. But I do want to feel like I'm trying to eke out some wins, you know? It's cruising blast. I've been, there's a lot of eking going on there. It's exciting when you win. I don't know how much rubber banding this series does. It doesn't seem egregious. There are definitely those series, you know, the Mario Kart team, like, cruising and stuff, where it's, like, you can super see, like, at the last second, like, oh, they're going real slow. Um, it has not been egregious in my experience with this. I mean, maybe they put some in there. This is a more arcadey one uh, series, but if they're doing it, it's uh, very subtle. There we go. Let's go find something at that barn find, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take it home. Let's see where we're at here. Oh, we're right by barn find. Look at that. Let's, uh, let's do a wacky car for this barn find. What's the wackiest car I have? And Buggy's pretty wacky. Nothing too wacky. It's not like cruising. Yeah, that's pretty wacky. It's not like cruising where I can be like a hammerhead shark or a uh, helicopter, you know. These are all just cars for the most part. I feel like I've seen this car plenty of times in my life. On the road, in the wild. All right, looking for a barn. You ready? Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. Looking for a barn. 
And remember, if you see one before me, you have no way of communicating that to me. Big possible area for a barn. Leveled up. What do I get? Do I get a wheel spin? Oh, can I wheel spin now? Let's do it. Sweet. I think I want to switch to that. Man, I'm getting some sweet cars here. Look at this shit. Okay. So, when you collect cars, there's also bonuses here for, like, getting all of a certain brand, make, model. What's the right company? Like, here, there's only the one Bach car, and so I got the, the 2,000 bonus there. So, yeah, you can see here, it's like, oh, if I get one more cater ham, I'll, uh, I'll get a, uh, a prize there. But, I want to switch to that 1987 car there. Yeah, Firebird. Okay, let's do this. If I was of driving age in 1987, I would have wanted to get one of these. Pretty sharp looking car right there. You have arrived at your destination. No, I haven't. My destination is a goddamn barn. Oh, this is maybe not good in the desert. Look at it. It's fucking sweet. I see no barns. This is really not the car for this. Jesus. Oh no, you cannot control this. Look, as rad as that car is, it is not suiting my purposes here. Let's take this Chevrolet pickup truck. Are pickup trucks good for the desert? It comes with it's my first time driving this. It has... It's got like a... Alienware computer in the back? Is that like a fridge that holds Monster Energy Drink? Okay, this also sucks. I don't know what... Probably rally cars. Probably rally cars. Let's, let's do the, the rally thing again. Van? Probably not a van. Modern rally? All right. You, Ford Bronco. Let's do it. Is that a barn? That's a rock. Wait, I see a structure of some sort. Appears to possibly be man-made. Nope, it's a cactus. That's a highway bridge thingy. Not a barn. That's not good. That's a Twisted Metal 3 right there. All right. Good vantage point here. Again, that's a rock. Looks like a house sometimes. You look at it weird. Oh, I see a board. Uh, what you are not seeing behind my head is there is a giant purple circle that I am staying within. Because the barn is within this. in the desert. Wait, on top of that hill? That can't be. That's way too far to be part of this. Is it? Let me see. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's too far. It's outside the circle. Oops, I hope you packed a lunch. I don't see a damn... Wait! This looks like a place a barn would be. This looks barny. Oh, this is super barny. Okay, hang on. Those things are cool looking. I like that. Does that just water a bunch of plants at once? Are you the barn? This is like the very outside of the circle. Wow, you tucked it all the way over here? Or is that not it? How is that not a barn? Hang on, there's a sign there. Tiniest car, but we're gonna make it work. Okay. 
I think it's still gonna be in Barn Town. This is Barn Town that I'm in right now. I'm gonna move my head. This is a search. We need to be abreast of the search situation here. See, that's the mini map there. Just stay within that circle. It's a big one. Is the barn on wheels? Am I tracking it across the desert? Sack? No. I feel like I've checked the entire perimeter of the circle. Are you a barn? Nope, you're just a bush. Shit. This is your main event tonight, folks. This far on the outer edge of the circle, would it? Underneath the bridge? Uh, I don't know. Is this underground? I am very well acquainted with this area now. Apparently, everything in this purple circle except for a barn. Well, I got a skill point for some fucking reason. Is a highway a barn? Are you a barn? Is that a barn? I see a sign there. Nope, that's a bush. Okay. field of view I can get. I think it's probably this. Are you in between these two things? Wait, I think I see a barn. It could be rocks, but it's something. I know that's just that. It's rocks. A house or a barn behind the rocks? No. How is it not here? This is the barniest goddamn place I've ever seen in this game. How are you not gonna put a barn on a farm? Wait, we're still within the thing here. Oh, we're hiding a barn in here. Golf course? How? Wait, you are the barn. You're the barn. Hang on. There's two buildings. That looks like a barn, too. Are you a barn? Do I have to drive up to you here? You're telling me you're not a barn. Oh boy. You can't just end a video like this without finding a damn barn. I get it. Wait. Hang on. I think.
Now we're talking. Is this the highest we can go? It's still faster. Really? You can't go up or down? That was the whole thing with drones. You can fly. saw it earlier and uh, did not go to it. <sighs> it is a barn find that I'm doing here, right? I can't check the map while I'm droning, apparently. Now be a better view of the area. Yet, no barn. It's way too big to be a barn, and it's outside the circle. I see that one thing that's just the house. I mean, we're looking at like the whole circle here. Glad I decided to end on the most elusive barn in human history. It's like a ghost barn that only appears like on the second Friday of the month. Or a full moon. It's not even a picture of a barn. fucking barn. So, my car just need to make sure I know exactly where to go. Is that my car? Yes. I'm gonna turn slight right, and I'm gonna drive towards the damn barn. Here we go. I see it. Coming home, folks. Boy, that blends right in, doesn't it? Burn find! than that. Whoa, get a load of that. Looks like an old Baja truck. Oh, this thing's won more off-road races than you or I have had hot dinners. I get to drive that, right? <laughs> Oh, it's being restored. I'll get a call when it's ready. I can gift cars. I have to give you a car for that? Um, do you want to uh, have this Nissan? A new player. This could go to you, folks. You could have my wonderful car here. And to you, I say... Welcome to Horizon. Enjoy your adventures. Uh, I'll do it uh, with, with my gamer tag. That's what they say. The best charity has your name attached to it. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of it. Trust me, a little help goes it's like a long way around here. I gave likes. Thanks. So now do I have the... Oh, do I still gotta wait for it? Was that completely optional? Oh, well. Do a nice thing every once in a while there. There you go. Folks. That right there is, uh, is Forza Horizon 4. If you can't tell, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It's very fun if you just want to just cruise around, just drive cars, a bunch of different cars fast and have a bunch of stuff to do. It's it's real good. If you like Forza Horizon, uh, check it out. And also, I think if you've never played one before, you know, the menu stuff aside and everything, this is a great way to jump in. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.